top of the key, Richardson gives it off to Van Hefty. Now to Hanson, now to the free throw line for Rudin, who gives it back to Richardson from the left wing, hits a three, it's a four point game with five minutes and 30 seconds to play. UNESCO at the top of the key, this place is rocking in Tempe. Swinging it around are the Ducks. UNESCO back with the ball at the top of the key, gives it up right wing to Chavez. Chavez now gives it off to Savoli, drives in, her layup is no good. Rebound Riley Richardson. Richardson at the right wing, Taya Hansen almost got away with a push. And then the refs call it. Turner Thorne does not like it, but that's a clear offensive foul in my mind, unless it's a sell job. Yeah, it looked pretty clear. I, I think you're right, Jesse. I think there was a little bit too much contact. And it's tough because ASU looked like they had a step in transition, but now the ball goes back to I Oregon. I think Turner Thorne might be more upset with the late foul call there than the actual foul call itself. The top of the key, Mignon Moore, gives it to the right wing for Hebert, back to Saboli, now to Moore at the left wing. Moore gives it to Ionescu, Sabrina Ionescu at the left wing. 10 on the shot clock, eight on the shot clock. Now she gives it off to Saboli. Saboli stops back to Chavez. Chavez drives, puts it up off the back of the rim and a fight for it. And a shot clock violation called on Oregon. Sun Devils ball, Charlie Turner Thorne egging on her team and a standing ovation from the Sun Devil faithful here in Tempe. With that, we'll go to a break. Four point game, 4.35 to play. Back inside of Desert Financial Arena, ASU doing a little bit better offensively in this quarter. 56-52, they've cut it to four points. Excellent defensive work in this fourth quarter as well against the number two Ducks. And it's their ball coming out of the media timeout, not Charlie Turner Thorne's timeout. Swinging it around, handoff to Imbolito at the left wing. Into Rudin at the right elbow. Back out to Richardson, her three is good! From the left wing, Riley Richardson, and it is a one point game in Tempe. Ionescu at the left wing, being guarded by Ryan. Into Hebert, Hebert being guarded by Rudin, and Hebert's shot is no good. Rebound ASU, Imbolito now charging in. Her pass to Ryan, her three is good! ASU takes the lead over the number two team in the country. 58, 56, three minutes and 53 seconds to play in this quarter and Kelly Graves wants to talk about it. And we will take a break on Blaze Radio. Back inside of Desert Financial Arena, ASU just took the lead. Robbie Ryan with the three-pointer. ASU finally getting some three-pointers to go. All the Sun Devil fans on their feet. Oregon fans with their arms crossed. Top of the key now, Saboli gives it off to Ionescu. Ionescu with the left wing. Drives in, tough shot, and they call Van Hefty for a foul. Another ticky tack call. These refs have not been letting them play in this one. And Sabrina Ionescu will go to the line. Her first free throw attempts of the season. The terrific senior, 89.3% from the line. That's her career high. She will make the first one as the curtain of distraction reveals a duck. ASU always bringing out the curtain of distraction for any game and big ones as well. Both free throws good. So it's a tie game, 337 to play, 58-58. ASU Oregon coming down to the wire. Top of the key, Richardson. Richardson gives it to Van Hefty at the left elbow. Now to Ryan at the right elbow, shoots it off the back of the rim. No good, and the rebound corralled by Sabrina Ionescu. Ionescu at the left wing. She would drive in, put up a floater, off the glass and in. Oregon regains the lead with 3.05 to play. 
Sabrina Unescu now with 20 points on 9 of 15 shooting. Richardson to Van Hefty. Now to Ryan. Ryan to Rudin at the right elbow. Back out to Richardson at the left wing. She'll dribble over to the right wing. Give it to Rudin. Top of the key three. It's good. ASU back on top. Two minutes, 37 seconds to play. 61 to 60. Now a baseline jump shot for Ionescu is no good. Van Hefty corrals her sixth rebound of the night. And Bolito at the top of the key. We have not seen Jatavia Tapley come back in for the Sun Devils, who is the high, who is one of the high scorers for ASU as Ryan has exploded here. ASU moving it around. Richardson with seven on the shot clock from the left wing, no good three. It's corralled by Ionescu. She fought for it with her own teammate, Hebert. She will take it up the floor, 61-60. Two minutes to play, just under two minutes in this game. Left wing, a drive actually by Ionescu and she puts it up off the glass and in. Drives a little bit too easy for her right now. And that's just automatic for her. I mean, she did that so effortlessly and a little bit of a contested shot too. Turner Thorne will take a timeout. We will keep it right here. Lyle, 62-61. Ionescu's been pretty special tonight. She's got a triple-double. That last rebound was set her for another triple-double. That's her, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's not a triple-double. That's defense, I was looking at the defensive rebounds and the rebound. She only has three assists, I'm sorry. Apologize with that. But, I mean, ASU has been able to find their shot in this one. What do they have to do to pull this one out? Well, they're just going to have to find a way to stop a couple more Oregon offensive possessions because every time they've gone down and scored on their own side to take the lead, whether it's been a three ball from Jamie Rudin, Robbie Ryan, they let Oregon come back and score on the other end. And it's been a lot of Sabrina Ionescu. And it's been a lot of Sabrina Ionescu inside the paint as well. I mean, she's 0 for 4 from long range today. I'd say more than anything, you got to get the ball away from her and in somebody else's hands. And if you want to dive even deeper, don't let Sabrina drive in on you. Make them beat you in another fashion. Yeah, I would, I would let her take the shot, honestly. And they call an off-ball foul on the inbounds pass. Called that one on Mignon Moore. That's her second personal foul of the game. ASU will inbound again. Ryan inbounds to Richardson, who will control at the right wing. Screen set by Rudin. Now... Richardson gives off to Ryan at the right wing. Back to Richardson at the left wing. Richardson drives left. It to Imbolito in the corner. Inside to Rudin. Puts up the layup and it's good. Back in fourth game right now in Tempe. 63-62. A minute left. Sun Devils lead the number two team in the country, the Oregon Ducks. Ionescu at the right wing. Dribbles inside. Puts up another layup and it is off the glass and bounced around on the rim and no good and rebound by the Sun Devils, Iris Imbolito. Richardson will clear her teammates to a set. Screen set by Rudin. Now to Ryan at the right wing. Back to Richardson at the left wing. Clears away Van Hefty. Now Richardson into Rudin. Five on the shot clock. Puts it up and banks it in. A three-point lead with 31.2 seconds on the clock. And Kelly Graves will call a timeout. How about that, Lyle? Sabrina Ionescu missed that layup that we've been talking about, her being basically automatic. Yeah, and how about that from Jamie Rudin on the other end? She was double teamed, didn't have anywhere to go. Turn around, it was almost like a little bit of a desperation turnaround layup, but she got it to fall, and all of a sudden it's a three-point son of a lead. Yeah, and that three-point lead feels like 10 right now. Yeah, I mean, ASU hasn't really had many leads all night. They certainly haven't had any big leads. Not the three points is big by any standards. But now it either forces Oregon to go down and get a quick layup or to make a three and try to tie things up. So really the ball's in ASU's court now, and they're going to put the pressure on the Ducks. All of a sudden, a bunch of good offensive performances by ASU. Rudin's got 12 off the bench. Ryan with 16. All of a sudden, they're above 30%, both from the field and from three, it's been a completely different fourth quarter offensively for the Sun Devils.